This is the honeybee apes mellifera, one of the most studied insects. We know a lot about their behavior. However, there is one of them which is very common that's still a mystery to be solved. This is not a normal behavior in an entrance of a honey beehive. What you can see here it's called washboarding behavior. Nobody really understands the function of that. I myself tried to get data for many years, tried to put things together, but I never got anywhere. And apparently, I was using the wrong hives to do the job. place the middle and the rear legs securely on the substrate and rocking the entire body back and forward, scrapping the surface with the front pair of legs and mandibles. They perform this constantly for hours and hours without stop. They also keep the head down and the abdomen up and they fan when they do so. Researchers have demonstrated in the past that bees performing this behavior are more active in rough surfaces compared with smoother surfaces. The story doesn't make much sense looking at the bees in the land stroke hives. However, in 2017, Dr. James Talman recorded the washboarding behavior in nature on wild bees and proposes something that's making this whole story much more interesting. He could follow the colonies in the wild for weeks and could compare the entrance of the colony at the beginning of the colony establishment and several weeks later. And he could clearly see that the bees were able to smooth the entrance up. With that in mind, and the positions the bees put themselves performing the behavior, he proposed that washboarding behavior is connected with some sort of communication. The position of the bees favored the hypothesis that Nazanov glands and tarsal glands might be playing an important role here. And the smoothing of the surface might be helping connect these two pheromones in the entrance of the hive. Both glands are described to attract foragers and the idea here is that maybe the bees are helping foragers to find their home easily. Of course, the mystery is not solved yet and much more work need to be done to fully understand washboarding behavior. But we only have a new hypothesis to be tested because we look at the bees in nature, the place where they were selected to survive. And there is a bigger lesson here that I want to address. How many things we might be missing, not only about bees, but also about ourselves, that could only be explained looking at us as the animals that we are. If you really want to take better care of our world, including our bees, it is paramount to start to have a better understanding of how life works and look at everything from the evolutionary perspective. In the case of bees, when we domesticate them, put them in boxes, we change a lot of their natural environment and there are consequences of that. It is the responsibility of a good beekeeper to re-establish as much as possible the conditions they need. Dr. Tom Seeley recently published his new book that talked exactly about this. With many, many more details and examples, I truly recommend this book, link in the description below. Hey Umberto, are you saying that we should stop beekeeping the way we do today and let the bees go back to their tree holes? No, that's not what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is that we need to keep learning and improving the way we keep bees, that's all. And we cannot forget to observe them in nature to get the extra information that we might be missing and with this knowledge to give them what they need. Like everything in biology, we need to find balance.